you must have had a smart idea about the biometrics. You must have looked at every because of your physics background, you'd have an engineering, you'd have dismantled the whole event <clears throat> and then rebuilt it in your style, in your form that gave you. Surely, did you have an unfair advantage? Is what I'm asking, I suppose. <laughs> we need my to brain. outlaw physics because people will have an <laughs> yeah. advantage. Yes. It was, it no, was my brain. It's, it's called a fair advantage. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I taught myself to run, well, 13 hurdles. I was a very good high hurdler. I was running like 13 six. Mm -hmm. And uh, I dropped my 400 flat down. For so just to, just to be clear, that would be the 110 meter high. 410, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. 110. And then I ran from, from my sophomore year to my junior year. I won the conference in 47.5. And I felt like I had made it in track and field. Well, at the first meet of my junior year, which was 76 at the Florida Relays, uh, I started the season with a 46.1. So that was like a second and a half uh, a drop right from the beginning. And then when I ran the 400 hurdles for the first time, um, I had been doing a lot of power running, cross country running. So I was in tip top condition. All I had to do was teach myself how to run the hurdles 35 meters apart. And the first time I did it, I found myself running 13. I found myself uh, using my left leg, which is the inner leg. Which 13 means, right, strides between 13 hurdles. steps. Right. Yeah. 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 Running so uh, closer to the curve. And then I figured out that if I run, eight inches away from the inner line, which is where they measure the lane versus, uh, you know, two or three feet in the middle of the lane, I'm saving three to four meters per race, which is like 15 feet, anywhere from 12 to 15 feet. So that was the first adjustment I made. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 Edwin, are you saying wow. that the effective length of your path, because you start out in blocks, right? Right. And right. of course you have to stay in your lane because that's your hurdle all the way around. So the length, the actual 400 meters is not the center line of the width of your lane? Eight inches, eight inches from the inner line. I didn't know that. Eight inches oh. from the inner line. So my endeavor was to run as close to, as that, as close to the inner right. line as I could. Right. Whereas most people just run all over the lane. And by doing that, I calculated the radius of the track and figured it out that I was saving three to four meters per race. So that's 12, Holy 15 feet. And I, was, I was basically- <laughs> And that, 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 that can- that, That's some unfair that's advantage. A, that's a huge- That's a huge that's a lot. distance. That's some unfair advantage there. Damn, that Edwin. But Edwin, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone no. was always asking me what the secret was, but I would never talk about something as <laughs> simple as that. They thought yeah. it was, you know, uh, uh, why would, why whatever would you talk it could about? be, but it was a combination of 13 mm -hmm. steps. I was a very good technician. I ran with my uh, inner leg, my left leg. Uh, my left leg was the one that I went over the hurdle first. So I was yeah. able to run closer to the line, which got me 12 to 15 feet in every race. And that was so, the first thing on my mind coming out of the blocks. If you ever see me come out of the blocks, I'm running almost on the line around those turns. Wait, 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 so can wait, wait. You, wait, can wait, you wait, indulge wait. me for one second? Wait, wait, just, just, just a quick sec. So if if you take 13 steps, that's an odd number of steps. Right. So you're saying your left leg only took you over the first hurdle, but your right leg is going to take you over the second one. No, left leg every time. Because they don't count the step where you touch down. They don't count that one. They count the following one. So, oh, so an, odd, that. an odd number of steps will will have you hurdling on the same leg. An even number, you would switch. You switch. Wow. Uh -oh. Any, anyone wonder why he was world champion? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. So what you're saying is, so, wait, wait. So if you go over with your left leg, yeah. And since we all run counterclockwise around the tracks, that left leg assures you that you will be closer to the line, eight inches. Every, 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 every time. Because every the right time. leg, you're landing somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, my you got to love gosh. this. you got to love and if, this. And if you? you run with your right leg, for example, uh, your body has to remain within the vertical plane of 48 inches. The lanes are 48 inches wide. So if your knee swings outside of the lane, technically, you can get... Uh, eliminated from the race it's a foul a foul that's a foul and they will wow. call it in the olympic games because there's awesome. guys who who run with their right leg going over first and their left leg is what they call hooking going outside of the lane or even under the plane of the hurdle right. Sometimes they speaking don't of that out. speaking of fouls <laughs> but, but just to be clear your knee just 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 your, your front leg goes straight out and over and then your trailing leg 
it's down your around knee the comes up and pulls around. over. So there's a whole drag motion there right, that's, right. that has width to it. And that's what you're describing. That's right. It's, it's, it's exiting the lane. Ooh. That's right. And if it exits the lane, that can be a penalty. But if you're left leg, you don't have to worry about it. And you're running inside. Right. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Um, and um, I, I will show my ignorance because I've always been uh, just too, too afraid to ask this question. When you see the guys running and they're knocking over all the hurdles, are they, being, okay. are they being penalized for that? Because every time I watch hurdlers and I see them knocking over the hurdles, I'm like, well, that guy sucks. I could do that. <laughs> He's just knocking stuff over. Well, the Federation, the Federation did a trick on that because when I was running, I think it took 18 to 20 pounds to tip over a high a high hurdle. It would take oh. 20 pounds of force to knock it over. They reduced that to 12. So uh, during Roger Kingdom's era, and he won two gold medals, those mm -hmm. guys were knocking over hurdles every time. In my era, they had big lead weights on it. One was flipped forward and one was flipped back. And oh. if, you hit, if you hit any hurdle, it would it would take away from your Chuck. Race. It had to right. go there. So, He's saying, "In my day, yeah. it snowed in both directions, <laughs> yeah. and I we had it hard." Yeah. But okay, I get it. I keep get whining. It. Go, so go. They, had, they had to change the rules to keep up with the old dogs. That's what they did. <laughs> there you nice. go. So basically, 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 that's what they did. And with the track surfaces as well, they changed the the bouncy, the uh, elasticity of the track to make uh, times faster. So how right. did you cope with that? Because you went from what I would call cinder track to uh, we call it tartan. It's a, yeah, it's it's tartan, a, tartan, it's a tartan track. Yeah. And okay. that obviously energy rebounds back out of that. So All you right. being right. the engineer, how did you cope with the effect that that had in your technique? Cause you always but, say about the most important thing being the takeoff. Yeah. So and that first, before have, you, before you do that, maybe there's somebody listening who's like me, who is not a track aficionado like you three uh -huh. and doesn't and doesn't know what a cinder track and a tartan is. All right, cool. Okay, rubber track. The, the tracks you see now, the rubberized surfaces. That's what that's what he means. It's a trade name. There's mm -hmm. about three different names: uh Mondo, Tartan, uh, Recortan. There's quite a few brand names, but they're all essentially rubber and they all have a standardized uh compound that they must have. Yeah. I ran on dirt tracks in Dayton, Ohio. It wow. was cinder. Basically, it was. Here it is again. I was up. on dirt tracks and yeah, my hurdles dirt. wouldn't. <laughs> it was ground up cinders and, and sand. Yep. And they would take a, they would spike it up and get a tractor to roll it down. So it's almost like uh, like you would see on a, at a construction site right before they begin to put up everything. It's just rolled flat and heavy. And we used to wear these long three quarter inch spikes in it. The problem with that is when you're behind. Uh, you literally eat dirt. The people in front of you are kicking up dust and sand and, you know, it gets in your teeth and in your eyes. But uh, the first time I ran on a rubberized track with, with great shoes was in the 1976 Olympic Games. I had the first Adidas. time you ran on that. Well, on one I, of those tracks. Well, the first the time I ran where I really, really felt the difference. When oh, okay. I got brand new shoes that were made by Adidas mm. and they were custom made for the Olympic Games and the Olympic track, which was a lot bigger and just perfect for running. I felt like I, I just felt like a Ferrari and uh, with big wheels on it, the, t the total amount of grip that you could get, the elasticity when you take off. I mean, you could feel the energy coming out of the track if you put it in. So when I felt that in Montreal and ran around that track, I just knew it was going to be all over. And the spikes are shorter for the for the rubber ice track, correct? Yeah, they're they're like mine with like nine millimeters, something like that, like a mm -hmm. quarter of an inch, less than a half of an inch. Right, right. Yeah. Well, see, I this knew. is where this Once is those where shoes were on my feet, it was all over as far as I was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> see, that's see, that's confidence is, right there. That's, yeah. This is.